Hey guys, what's up? It's Audra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today I decided since it's the first video back from tour that I would do a little 10 songs that we listen to on the road. Like, songs we listen to on repeat every single day without fail. Um, either all together or like by ourselves and I'll like kind of give an explanation for like each of them Yeah, I'm just gonna tell you everything that was like on our, our daily road trip playlist for tour. Let's do it All right, so number one obviously of course I had to put the point north song that we listened to so Honestly, there was a ton a ton of point north songs that we listened to Obviously like when you're on tour with the band like you hear those songs every night so it's just like as we would say like very easy to just go and like listen to those in the car so because we just know them so well by the, that point you know what I mean so it was hard to pick like which ones we listen to the most um some kind of like super close to making the list ones uh were nice now and erase you but I did not put those on there uh, number one is Ghost in My Home. So I, I picked Ghost in My Home because number one, that was Sam's favorite song. And then when John got sick for the last few shows, I ended up singing, well, every song that I just named. But this one, too, Ghost in My Home. And this is the one that I needed like the most, like to learn the most on the verses. So I listened to this song a lot. Uh, but it's also one of my favorite songs on the set. So we listened to Ghost in My Home by Fort North a lot, a lot in the car. Number two, I just actually posted an Instagram video about this today, but I, I listened to a ton of the most recent Post Malone album, but specifically the song Hollywood's Bleeding, obviously title track. Uh, but I listened to, to that song a lot. I don't know what it was. I think that whole album is slept on. It's so good. I listened through that album like three or four times while we were on the road. Um, but that song, for, it just sticks out to me. Also, there's like a video of his live performance of that song at like some like music awards or something. And it's like probably one of my favorite like live performances to ever exist. So Hollywood is Bleeding by Post Malone. Number three is Guy Dot. X E X E. I'll write it down here by Superfruit. Uh, this Matt could literally not stop listening to this song. So in turn, we all listen to this song and we all are obsessed with it. This was like kind of died off by like the end of the tour, but like in the first like two weeks, we listened to this song like four times a day. We were all very obsessed with it. We also had no idea that it was the two guys from Pentatonix. Who would have who would have known? I had no clue. Uh, but we were like wholeheartedly obsessed with this song for like a solid two weeks we listened to this like in an obsessive amount of times number four is a lotus song uh romantic disaster by Lil lotus featuring chrissy oh my gosh what a crossover featuring chrissy costanza of against the current uh obviously again like point north when you're on tour with bands you listen to a ton of them we also listen to so much like sharia moore and the home team but we listen to Romantic Disaster a lot. So I, I listen to it a lot on my own, just like in my headphones. But then towards the end of the tour, Matt also became obsessed with this song. So he was listening to it and I was listening to it. So we ended up playing that song a lot in like the last two weeks of the tour. Uh, but that song's great. It's so, so funny to hear Lotus and like Chrissy sing together because obviously now we like know both of them pretty well. So it's like so, so funny to like hear that collab and just be like, oh my God, <laughs> so funny. Uh, but that song's amazing. It's stuck in my head. I was literally singing it while I was like setting up uh, the cameras for this video because that the chorus part is stuck in my head all the time. We both know this is a romantic disaster when the nightmare comes after. That's so catchy. All the O's. Oh, O's, don't get your hopes so I only let you down. Okay, anyways, moving on. Next song. Oh, okay. Uh, number five is Cold Heart by uh, Dua Lipa and Elton John. It's like the the remix, I don't know, I'll write it, I'll, again, I'll write it down here, I don't know, I can't remember what the name of it is. But it's the, the Cold Heart remix. Uh, Matt didn't know that this song existed and I played it a lot in the car while I was driving and he was like, dude, this song is crazy good, like, what is this? And I was like, I have no idea, like, it just, it pops up in my, like, playlist or my Discover Weekly or something. Um, but we could not stop listening to that. Go cold heart, I done by you. 
They sound so good together, I think. Um, so we were very obsessed, very obsessed with that song. Number six is Make Damn Sure by Taking Back Sunday. Uh, I, okay, let me tell you the story about this song. So while we were on the Against the Current tour, they covered this song and I, I always had it stuck in my head, and then I, after the Against the Current tour, I completely forgot about the song. Like, never listened to it since September. Then, the the Point North playlist, like, their playlist for, like, in-between bands and stuff started, started playing one night, and this song came on. And I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't listened to this song in, like, months. And I have not stopped listening to it since. Holy crap, that song is stuck in my head. 24 7 it actually was like starting to drive me nuts because every night I would wait for it to come on the playlist And then if it didn't come on the playlist, I felt just so unsatisfied. I was like I need to listen to this song in the car um, I just I can't stop listening to that. It's such a good song and it's l Constantly constantly stuck in my head. So I made everybody listen to that because I was like I have I have to hear it I need to get out of my head um, but yeah, make damn sure take back Sunday. Number seven is Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. Uh, we listened to this song consistently the whole entire trip. Uh, that slow down part is everybody's favorite. That whoa, 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 whoa. Like that part's so good. Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't have anything else to say. Good song, we listen to it literally so much every day at least number eight this one is like specific to me and it's actually a really funny story so also on this tour i was singing into the dark with point north the kellen part and then obviously when john got sick i, I took over that song um but i i was like learning the the part the one day that i needed to and so i listened to it a lot so i could make sure that i was like good at it because i Quickly, like impromptu, we threw it together and I did it at the Pittsburgh show because it was our hometown show and Andy was like, hey, you want to sing the song? And I was like, sure. So I learned it in the green room really quick and then sang it. So I was like, okay, I want to listen to it like more so I like actually like really know what I'm doing the next day because then I just kept doing it for the rest of the tour. Um, and when I searched Into the Dark, an acoustic version came up and I never heard it so I clicked on it and I was like, this is the most beautiful thing. I didn't even tell Point North this yet like because I just haven't like talked to them um, about this because it was just so hectic like the last few days so i'll have to text them this but i've been listening to into the dark acoustic and literally every ride home like every night after the show i literally put on into the dark acoustic and just fall asleep in the car like to that song every single night because it was just like you like i was saying earlier like all these songs from point north that we listen to every night are so like easy and like relaxing to listen to in the car because you just know it so well that it's like you don't have to listen hard to like enjoy the song. You can just like sit back and be like, yeah, I know everything about the song and everything that's gonna happen. So I would put on this Into the Dark acoustic version, which is already like, you know, mellowed down and like calm. And I would know every single word and like everything that was gonna happen and just literally just pass out instantly. So that was my like go to sleep in the car song was the Into the Dark acoustic. <laughs> Number nine is Something Bad by Miranda Lambert and Carrie Underwood. Now I'm not gonna give too much away, but I may or may not be doing this song for my birthday cover. We listened to this song a lot uh, cause I was like showing it to Matt. And we also like got on a kick of country music at some point. It was just this very strange mix of songs this trip, but Something Bad by Miranda Lambert and Carrie Underwood. If you haven't listened to it, you better listen to it because it's coming. All right, last but not least, number 10, we have Vices by Mothica. This was also a really hard one to pick because we listened to every Mothica song. Like we listened to like her whole discography, like probably three times all the way through in the car because she's just so good. Uh, but Vices I'd say is probably one we listen to most. Or either, either one, I guess, for two new songs. Like, we listen to those a lot, too. But Vices, for sure. Because um, we constantly had the that, that like, post chorus chorusy part. I don't know what you want to say. Stuck in our heads, uh, if it's not drugs, it's drinks. If it's not drinks, it's things. If it's not things, it's people, places. I don't want to be these vices. Da -da 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 -da. All the time, stuck in our head. All the time. So we, we listen to a lot, a lot of moth, I guess. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video of the 10 most listened to songs from our tour uh, in the car. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope if you don't know these songs, you'll like listen to them, add them to your playlist, you know, listen to what we listened to while we were on the road. 
So thank you so much again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, a comment, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, see you next week.